In today's video, you're going to learn how to correct the appearance of a ram's horn toenail. I'm going to remove a lot of debris from under the toenail so it can reattach to the nail bed and use my electric file for shaping. She has been back to see me several times and her toenail seems to be growing straighter now. This is a fun transformation to watch, so have fun and stay tuned. I'm Lori Holloway, known as the meticulous manicurist on YouTube and an expert in the field of nail technology, specializing in pedicures. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe and click the bell to turn on your notifications to know when I upload my weekly video and be notified if your comment got the most likes and will be featured in an upcoming video. So how long has this split been there? I'll say, from what I noticed, I'm going to say a uh, month, possibly no more than two. Okay. Because, yeah, you... So if you look real close, you can see a uh, ridge that goes all the way down your nail here. Mm -hmm. So the problem's originating down here in your matrix. Okay. So we may have to, once we get the split grown up, mm -hmm. we may have to just keep your nail at a certain length so it doesn't. Okay. It'll always be vulnerable at that little tiny area. Okay. So it might not split, you know, all by itself unless it gets like hit or something. Mm -hmm. So we just have to protect it. a little patch of acrylic on it oh, okay and then it should be able to grow out and the man and sometimes right. when she's not there so normally i have i book while i'm there i yep. used to didn't but then it was getting to be like oh shoot like really yeah it's always and then they best. always want you to try to see somebody else because jonathan coy i didn't know each um worker or uh was different levels. I was thinking everybody, you know, like was the same because one time when I paid and then I'm like, how come the price keep changing or what? And then that's right. when they told me, oh, Sarah is, she's the higher level, the highest level. And I'm like, oh, okay. Right. So I've just been finding out stuff as I go. Well, and salons are different Yeah. too. So it just depends on their structure and sometimes it depends on the technician's experience mm -hmm. and that's what I guess where it comes in with the different levels yeah so but yeah that's where um, all these go um and then if I that I can um do an optical illusion it'll look straight when I'm finished <laughs> really <laughs> Oh yeah. So how often do you recommend pedicures? Every four to six weeks. Okay.
I gotta stick to my steps. Stick to my steps. <laughs> gotta mess around, get all behind. <laughs> Oh, man. Now, is that scrub just for feet or is it for all over? What? The uh, scrub the, that you have oh, put the, on. Yeah, you can use that all over your body. Um, yeah. Doctor meticulous. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, for the toes. <laughs> the nails. Does this feel okay? Mm-hmm.
Did it take you a while, Lori, to find the, the specific products? Mm. I've been using these products for 20 years. Okay, yeah. Because it's like as long as I've been getting pedicures, it hasn't been no uh, product to actually really get. The only mm -hmm. thing, like I said, um, my girl has started using like the like that scrub, um, but only it just on, she only. your video yet so I'll throw this in at the end oh okay <laughs> <For> the, <laughs> after the second pedicure and I make sure we have time to film the third one <laughs> Like it's growing straight from your end. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to visit my channel. People like you are the reason for my success and I appreciate it so much. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Remember it is free and I'll see you next time.